those, uh, those personal attacks on me, Ms. Shah, cannot possibly be true, can they? Because on the 22nd of February at 1 p.m., you called us and asked us if you could be the respect candidate in Bradford. And before you make a bigger fool of yourself, I really advise you not to deny it. 22nd of February was the day after you came bottom of the poll with just 13 votes out of almost 220 in the Bradford West Labour Party selection. You are a big loser then, and the kind of way that you have embarked upon this campaign has already ensured you're going to be a big loser again. You have only a passing acquaintance with the truth. You claimed, and gullible journalists believed you, that you were subject to a forced marriage at the age of 15. But you were not 15. You were 16 and a half. I have your nikah. I have your nikah in my pocket. Mr. Galloway, Mr. Galloway, can I have your forbearance, please? I am the chair. I will take this. I was talking about Nancy's job. Nas, I will take this. Nas, I will call an end to these proceedings. I will. No, I do not want to hear. I will take this. All right? We talked about issues. So Mr. Galloway, can we please stick to the issues because you've made your point, you made those two issues, no. can we now move on to issues, please? You, you, allowed, you, allowed, you allowed three personal attacks on me by my new Labour opponent. Mr. Galloway, I was going to come back to that. Mr. Galloway, I was going to come back to that. Can I please ask emotions to just come down for a while? And I think, Mr. Galloway, will you continue, please? I will continue. No one will ever stop me from speaking. The, the issue is that my opponent is a liar. She lied about me. She lied about her age. She slandered this community for her own selfish ends. She played into every stereotype. Every stereotype. 15 seconds before you finish. Well, you, are you sure? Have you given me injury time for your interruptions? All right. No, no, it is actually. It's 3.10 now. I'm giving you another 20 seconds. Can we please... I need to keep... I, I have set politics alight in Bradford. That's why the media are here. We turned Bradford politics upside down. We've shaken the complacency of Labour, which is why they hate us so much. They have betrayed the people here in Bradford and elsewhere in the country. We are the real Labour Party, and that's why they hate us. Thank you. Thank you.